Did you? Did you see that? Chris, you're hallucinating. We're here. Come on, let's go. I'm coming. I'm coming. Come on. I go. Hurry up. I'm here. Dreams. The subconscious of our everyday thoughts, desires, and even our worst fears. It's the unknown that scares us. What we take from these images is what shapes us. Who we are, what we really think, without us even knowing. The human psyche is astonishing. The grandest ideas come to life from dreams. Sometimes, bad things come from dreams, nightmares. Our worst fears fully realized. Getting through a traumatic event such as yourself, suppressing is not good. It's important to identify the problem and confront. Chris, what do you see? What do you feel? Tell me about your dreams. I woke up in a dream last night. In my childhood backyard. I was with my fiance, Trisha. There was this huge tree from my childhood. I explained how this one time, my little brother, Brandon, climbed all the way to the top. I had to go up there and get him down. I was terrified. It felt like I, like I climbed forever to finally get him. Then later in the dream, we were at a convenience store. That's when I see it again. A hooded shadow figure. I see it in my dreams and sometimes even when I'm awake.
middle of the night. I can't move. As hard as I fight, it feels like there's, it feels like there's something watching me. So I lay there, terrified. Why can't you move? I don't, I don't know. It's like, it's like something is, is holding me down. Something is holding, pressing down on my chest. It's like a weighted down feeling. In the world, there's positive and negative energies. What we put out, what kind of energy we put out, is what we're going to experience. If you put out bad energy or negative energy, that's what you're going to experience. You're going to bring in the negativity. Now, if you put out positive energy, that will help you fight through the bad energy, the negative energy. You've got to learn how to be able to pull out that positive energy and build from that. How? Well, this trip to your old house is a great first step. You know, it's been a long, long road on this phase of your recovery. Are you ready? I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Excellent, Chris. You know, I'm very proud of you. Remember, it's just a house. The real confrontation is within you. Within you. You're in control. I know. I, I want to take control of my past. And not let it control me. I'm in control. I'm in control. That's it. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm ready. I think I'm ready. You think you're ready? Yeah. Oh, baby, now you know we're gonna be all right. Yeah. And you know I have your back, right? I know. And we're gonna be okay. I know. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> we gotta finish packing. I know, I know. Is there anything else we need inside? Uh, yeah, I think there's two more boxes upstairs. Okay, okay, I'll get them. Can you bring me some water? Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Day? Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. You know, to give us an opportunity to talk, you know. Our relationship hasn't been the best, but he'd give us a chance to talk on an adult level. I mean, last time I saw him, you know, he was 12, 13 years old. He's a grown man now. I'm looking forward to that, so. That's cool. Yeah. So, I mean, he's living at the house right now. He's actually about to sell it. What? So. He's been staying at that house? I mean, yeah, he's just. You know, maintain it. You know, he he maintains the house. I mean, yeah, but you don't think that's kind of creepy? I mean, not really. He has to maintain the house. I mean, he's going to sell it now, so, you know. Yeah, but... Yeah, I mean, that's, the timing is it's actually good because, you know, it gives us a chance to uh, be there before he does sell the house. So, actually works that we're going to do this right now. Youngster, 
What's up, man? Good to see you, man. What's been going yeah, good on? Good to see you. Oh, man, man, man. Getting the house ready, man. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Getting ready for sale and uh, probably going to end up moving to Chicago, man. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What's wrong with that? So you got to your lady in the back. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's my wife, Trish. I, I'll introduce her in a minute. What's up with you, man? How you been? Oh, uh, man, you know, just the norm, man. Yeah. Just making things happen. Okay. Like I said, man, focused on this project with the house. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, Looks good, man. Looks real good. Y'all come on in and enjoy yourself down. Right. Walk around back. Got a few people back there. Okay, cool. We'll have a little fun. I'll probably go inside myself, walk around a little bit. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Make yourself at home, man. like I was there. Uh -huh. I couldn't wake up. I was screaming. Screamed to the top of my lungs. And the crazy thing is, my family was right in the other room. What? That shit just fucked me up. And I just, I, I kept seeing these different shadows going from here, going from there. And then, you know, in my mind, I know I'm sleeping, but I feel like I'm there. Though, you know what I'm saying? I seen a bunch of shadows, but I didn't know what it was. It was really tripping me out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he has yeah. dreams like that all the time. He's kicking me and poking me in my sleep. And I look at him like, really? And he looks at me up and going, why didn't you help me? Why didn't you save me? And I'm like, what was wrong with you? Like you're stuck. Yeah. Whole body is seized up. I can't do anything. Bro, I'm going to tell you. I started to beat this bitch ass. <laughs> I, I was... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, I got you. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm good. That's crazy. That was I told crazy. you my brother would throw a party, <laughs> man. <laughs> you did drink a whole bottle of vodka, but yeah. Uh, we ain't talking about that. It's in the past. It's gone now. It is, <laughs> but everything's going to be okay. We're just going to take it one day at a time. You're right. One day at a time. One day, one step at a time. One step at a time. You know, and having you here with me, it makes it easier. Aw. Really does. Where else would I be? I don't know. Mwah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Save it for later. Yeah. Say that for the bedroom, huh? Yeah. You know, speaking of bedroom, is that really where we're supposed to sleep? <laughs> yeah, mm. that's it. That's the honeymoon suite. <laughs> Honey, that's a mattress and a box spring. <laughs> I mean, you know, you're moving out. Woohoo! 
You got a lot to learn. Yeah, he's moving out. I'm my brother's up. moving out, so he uh he don't have very much in there. Plus, uh, he didn't have my decorating skills. Your wanna be decorating <laughs> skills? Or you don't have any. You're right, I don't. So um, well, why don't you get the bags and maybe I'll go get us set up and maybe we can play around. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, love you. Because that's all we got. <laughs> How do you think it's going to go between you and Dave? I think it should go good. You know, I get a lot of questions to answer. Definitely need to do it. So, I'm looking forward to it. Yay! <laughs> because I really need to go to the grocery store. Because if we're going to stay here for three days, I'm not going to keep eating eggs and chips. That's just not me. <laughs> Thank you. 
College going for you? It's going all right. Just oh. taking my bases. Oh, okay. I'm trying to figure out what I want to major in, but uh, you know, what day you, to day. What you think you're leaning towards? Uh, I want to say biochemistry, man. Oh yeah. All right then. Yeah. yeah. The credit, credit is due. <laughs> yeah, they don't, they don't get no credit, bro. Hey, my cowboy's doing the thing though. Finally got a team around him. <laughs> How many years? We gonna count the years, all right? We're just going to be positive about it. That's all we can do. It's probably, probably where it all started for me. Yeah, yeah. I believe. Say, <laughs> man, but the reason I brought you out here, I come up to talk to you. I know we always hadn't had the, uh, Best relationship in the past. There's been a lot going on, and um, <laughs> you gonna think I'm crazy, man. If I if I try to break all this down, you gonna think I'm crazy, man. I see a lot of things related back to that night with him. Him? Our brother. Brandon. Brandon. Brother Brandon. You know. I mean, you never have any visions or anything, flashbacks. I know you were young. Nothing ever from that night, an incident? Nah. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't like to I don't like to talk about it. I don't, I don't like to think about it. It's never gonna leave me. I know that. But um So uh what what happened that night? You know, we had a babysitter. And there, there was a fire. I had sent Brandon to get a baseball. When I went to look for him, I got to the bathroom and all I saw was it's pure evil. The firefighter said, you and me were the only ones to make it out alive. Of course, you know, his mom's suicide after that. I want you to know if anything, if anything happens, I'm here for you, all right? Yeah. I want you to understand you can talk to me about anything. Hmm. Big brother. So did you get everything taken care of that you needed to with Dave today? Yeah, I did, actually. Um, we had a good talk, good conversation. I mean, I felt like, I mean, I got something out of it. I felt like he did too. We hadn't always had the opportunity to talk as adults. That's good. Yeah. I'm glad you got a chance to talk to him and got things squared away, got what you needed. That was really good. I had to go to the store to get everything you needed. I sure did. We've got groceries. <laughs> I got food. No more eggs and chips. I like and eggs. And, you know, I like eggs and chips. Yeah, You're talking down I'm, on I'm them. I'm not going to be eating that every <laughs> not day. Not for three days. Not for three know. days straight. You're <laughs> out of your mind. Uh, but, um, speaking of, you need to go get in the shower. Uh, what? What are you trying to say? You need to go get in the shower. Well, I was going to get in the shower anyway. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I might join you later but oh really you need to go get in the shower you first. need to go get in the shower first <laughs> so get on up way. get on up I know. You know? Look, 
We've already seen what we need to see. Let's just go. Okay. All right. Tomorrow. that you can't wake up, you know, you can't move, and, you know, as I did my research, it, it led me into, you know, sleep paralysis. Honestly, uh, honestly, like, whenever I wake up at night, and it's crazy, because every time I wake up at night, I wake up at three in the morning. Supposedly, I don't know, but supposedly I heard that crazy shit happens at three in the morning, and Every time I wake up, I see a shadow, like, in the corner, a black shadow, and I know a lot of people have different views of this shadow that they see, but me, I see, like, a black shadow, like, in a big, long cap, you know, and um, kind of like the... Hello? Addison. Listen, it's, it's, it's Chris, okay? I, I, I need to talk to you. Chris, what time is it? Listen, I know it's late, okay? Look, these, these, these dreams I've been having? Look, look, I... I know what it is, okay? It's an out demon. You, you've heard of it? Uh, German folklore, I believe. Sleep paralysis? Okay, the, the, the hallucinations, you know, not being able to move, seeing something in the room. Chris, Chris, you're trying to stretch a myth to fit a truth. Listen, Doc, I'm, I'm just trying to get myself together. Okay, I'm, I'm, I, I want to move past this. I want to put this behind me. I, I'm sorry, Doc. I know it's late. Uh, I'll call you in the morning. I'll talk to you in the morning, Doc.
it. We're out of here. What the fuck? I mean, you wanted to come here. We came, we saw, we're done. I don't want to talk about this anymore. You think I asked for this? You think I wanted all this shit? You think I wanted all this to happen to us? To me? You better lower your voice and stop yelling at me. You crazy? What? What happened, Chris? What? You think somebody's following you? You think you're seeing things? It's like Ghosts? I said before. Except this time she was in the house. Who was in the I house? Because who was in the house? It. Who? Oh boy. So I'm just making all this shit up. I'm making all of it up. You don't believe me? I, I want all this. It's all coming on my fucking head, huh? You know what? Sometimes people do things because they're looking for attention. This might be one of them. Attention? Yeah, attention. You know, people use things and and and. and try to get attention in different ways because they're crying out. They need help. And baby, you've been crying out long enough. I think it's just time to just let it go. Just let it go. Wow, that's outstanding. I'm fucking standing. Your ass is crazy. I, I'm driving. Oh, I can't wait to get with you. <laughs> I've had enough for you, you know? I'm trying to drive, I'm trying to help you, but your ass is crazy. You're gonna try me in a drink, Ooh, I can't, I can't wait to get rid of you. I, I can't wait to get rid of you. Can you hurry up? It's hot. Listen, what? babe. What? What? Look, I know, I know you're upset, right? Damn right I'm upset. But, but you have to hear me. Listen. What, something, Chris? Listen, something, something is wrong. <laughs> Something is really wrong. You're damn right something's wrong. Don't you think I know something's wrong? Look, look. Everything that's been happening to me, everything that's been going on, I've been, I've been doing my research. I'm not the only one that's happening really? to me. Really? Okay? Look, just read that. What? Okay? Everything, all the characteristics, everything, it makes sense. A demon? Really? really? Is, a it demon? It sounds crazy. But I'm telling Chris, you, it you're makes not sense even what's religious. Going on. You, a demon, really? It makes sense what was going on with me. Listen. I understand how it sounds, but if you read the research I've done, it makes sense. Yeah, well. Okay? It doesn't make sense to me. It really doesn't make sense to me. You Just need... What, what are you saying? Look, Chris. If you love me, which I think you do, then you need to get help. Call Addison. Trisha, you believe me, though, don't you? Where are you going? <laughs> Trish, where are you going?
Huh? Hey, Mom, it's me. Yeah, we cut the vacation short. Oh my God, Mom, you wouldn't understand what just happened. Chris is crazy. Yeah, I mean, one minute he thinks he's seeing demons, Mom. Demons! I can't deal, I can't, I can't deal with this anymore, Mom. He's just, he's not the same person. He is not the same person. I mean, he's dealing with some sleep paralysis stuff and, and thinks he's seeing demons all the time under the pillows and around the corners and he's busting in on me in the shop. Mom, I just, I need some space. I, I, I got a hotel for a while and I need time to just breathe, relax, get myself back together. I'm gonna give him time to get himself together and, and I guess we'll just have to go from there. Yes, I know. I will. I love you too. I'll call you later, okay? Bye. This can't deal with Chris. I need a nap. I need a nap. Hey, babe. Sit down, man. Have some tea. Hmm. Hey, pour on some drink. You need to wake up. Get out some chicken, man. Come on. Hey, come on. Rough night last night, man. We didn't, we just went to the party. I mean, other than that, nothing happened. 
I really think you need to go back and lay down. Get some rest, and when breakfast is ready and the food ready, I'll come and get you. I'll come and wake you up, okay? Okay. Okay, let's go. Follow me. I'll take you and put you in bed. I'll tuck you in. Come on. want from me. It's okay, Trisha. I understand. I've, I've seen this kind no, of thing. No, Doc, I don't think you do. At first, I thought it was part of his coping mechanism, his way to deal. But now he's just crazy. I mean, he's always talking about demons constantly. He's paranoid. And to be honest, I, I can't take it anymore. I've tried and I've tried, but I can't. And I think I'm going to leave Chris. I, I, I don't know what to do for him anymore. I, I don't. Can you help him? I thought things were getting better. I thought things were improving. And now he's calling me at all hours of the night, and I'm getting indications that this he's manifesting this delusion that he's been carrying around. I was thinking going back to his old house, going to Dave's house would eliminate this and help him to deal with it, get over it. He's not the same person anymore. He's, he's not. He's in a dark place. And I don't know how to bring him out of this dark place. And if I don't, something serious is gonna happen. Thank you. 
snap my fingers, you're going to enter a sleep state. And what happens during that sleep dream state, we will see. I'm going to count down and then snap my fingers. Three, two, one. dream. You've been standing outside, standing at this wall for hours. You know what? I'm tired. Listen. No. Listen. Listen to me. What? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This is all a dream. It's not a dream, Chris. You are tripping. What is that? It's a basement. A basement? Yeah, it's a basement. A fucking basement? Really, Chris? Oh my God. You know what? We're leaving. I'm packed. We're going now. This case I've been working on. Been having some setbacks. Hell, I might even say I've been knocked off the fucking ladder. Oh my god. I've never heard you swear before. Yeah, you know. So close. So close. Seems like it's turning into something else. Uh-oh. Really is that serious. That patient I was telling you about, Chris. Mm-hmm. Trippy made seems to be triggering some kind of raw emotion. He's talking about sleep paralysis, seeing shadows. Do you think he's losing it? I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to have him committed. Hmm. I really didn't want to, but the guy's getting married.
Mr. Henderson, this is Detective Brad Stevens. I'm calling on behalf of Laura Davis, Trisha Davis's mother. We would like to speak to you downtown at the station. I don't know if you're aware, but Miss Trisha Davis has gone missing. Her mother said when she last spoke to her, you guys were having a bit of trouble. She was kind of erratic. Before anyone jumps to conclusions, let's go ahead and meet so we can sort this out. I'll be waiting for your call. Voicemail, of course. Figures. My, 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 my. Dave, this is Dr. Adderson. I'm calling because Chris is completely spiraling out of control. He keeps talking about this alp, this, this demon thing. Tr Trish is afraid for her life. We're going to have to get together and talk about Chris. This is just getting out of control. Please call me as soon as you get this message. You've got my number. Bye. What's up? Hey, it's Dave. Live from the block. I should have been flavor flavor. I got the perfect <laughs> clock. Hey, what is, what, what you are so fucking goofy. What do yes. you mean? I mean, you know, I'm trying to make it. You know, I, I got this. I mean, plus, we're going to be on TV. We're going to be on TV. What are you talking just about? Soon, I, trust me. Just listen. Hey, soon. Look, okay. My brother. Explain. My brother. Okay. He's at, he, he got like these dreams and, you know, mm -hmm. the house and stuff. So. About our house? This house? I mean, no, you're not talking about this house. It's, it's nothing, though. No. Just trust me. Okay? Nothing. It's, it's nothing. Look, okay. we, baby, we're going to be rich. Trust me. Okay, Dave. Why don't you just listen to me sometime? Okay, Dave. Trust me. Okay, so, you know what I'm saying? After it all goes through. But yeah, you be having these fucked up dreams, though. Like, mm -hmm. he can't move and shit. And he mentioned the house, but whatever. You know, there's something else. Okay. I'm Dave from the block, baby. You know? <laughs> Um, I thought we were going to see a ghost. Look, I told you it's going to be from the block. I got this. Trust me. <laughs> trust me, trust me. I got it. Yo, ghost, ghost. Out, out. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I don't think I heard you. Baby, you look bullshit. Louder. Out, out. <laughs> ghost, ghost. Come out, wherever you are. You stupid mumbo jumbo piece of shit. Okay. Come on out. Yeah, you Come on out, you piece of shit. Come on. <laughs> you better stop. Uh, I guess you're right. <sighs> What's this? Yeah, I told you. Go. That you, I told you to trust me. Go. I, but kid, you go first. Go. Funny. 
Yeah, I found that it. That is not. I found the app right here. Did you see anything? Yeah, the app right here. Childhood home. Calm down. Always. I really think we need to stop and think about it. I know where Trish is. It always has, it always with the house. It always goes back to the fucking, to the childhood home. That's what it goes fucking back to. Calm down. I'm gonna call the authorities. Listen. You fucking listen to me right now. You're not calling, and you're gonna fucking listen to me right now, okay? You're gonna go back to the house because I, I, I okay. thought about it. I figured it all out already. I know Trish is at the fucking house. Get in the fucking okay. car. Okay, fine, That's where we're going, fine. right now. I'll go with you, but you gotta promise to put the gun away. Look. I'm telling you, if we don't find Trisha there, then we gotta call the cops. All right. All right let's go, okay? Doc, I need to do this, okay? I, I, I know you think I'm crazy, all right? But I'm not. I'm not fucking crazy. Chris, look at yourself. You haven't slept in days. You're you're having a breakdown. Look, I'm here to help you. Listen, I can sleep, all right? I just don't want to, all right? This 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 out this out thing gets a kick out of this shit. I, I swear I, I swear it does, all right? And you, you don't even believe me. You try to call the fucking cops on me. Chris, okay, we're doing what you want. We're going to Dave's house. <laughs> we get there, what then? I don't know. I just, I just, I just know that she's there, all right? But you don't fucking believe me. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what I say to you, Doc, because you don't. And I don't know if you ever fucking have, all right? 
It's out. I, 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 it's trying to tell me. It's trying to tell me something. I just, I don't know what it's trying to tell me, okay? I just know we need to go to Dave's. I just know Trisha's there, all right? Just believe me, Doc. You gotta believe me on this. I believe you, Chris. We're doing it. For all I know, Dave's gone too. Gone too? I don't know. I, I haven't been able to get a hold of him. I haven't either. Listen, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay for this gas. All right. You just pump it. I'll be right back, okay? All right. We're going to the house. All right. What are you doing? 
doing? <gasps> oh. 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 Did you see that? Chris, you're hallucinating. We're here. When it started, I would get this strange feeling in the night, as though something was watching me. Then I would wake, but I could not move. It would laugh at me. Those nights were an eternity. Are you shadows, shadows everywhere?
Oh, to our children, I, I must take care of the children. Please, God, no, no. Police have apprehended a suspect, but won't know more until formal charges are filed. 